Almost in the very beginning, I embraced an organic vocabulary. When I had this idea back in the late 50s that there's no reason that furniture can't be as artistic as sculpture, the vocabulary that I liked were people like Brancusi and Henry Moore, Arp, Miro, uh, all people who used a very organic vocabulary. The most creative part is the idea part where you're working on paper. But the true satisfaction, I think, is that you realize the whole thing. Sometimes I'm, I'm really just trying to get something fresh, and I'm not sure where it's going. It might just be some kind of doodles on the paper. And what I do after I've got it, one I really like, we, we, we put it in the computer. But then the next step after this, I may just make this out of foam. What I'm working with here to make these models is uh, a product called Sign Foam, which is urethane foam. We just need them because it's a, it's a step that gets us into the computer with exactly what I want. It introduces more flaws. I want those kind of discrepancies. When you draw a curve, you know, it may have a little blip in it, and I, I think that gives it character. I think ad adopting the, the tools and uh, whatever else that means that are the latest things that could help you in your work, you should embrace them. Sometimes people consider that if you make something by hand, you're supposed to just use all hand tools. Uh, I don't think that's true at all. I don't think that embracing new technologies in any way uh, harms the work. If anything, it's the opposite. It allows you to do things that you couldn't otherwise do. Once you kind of see where it's going, then you begin to refine it. I know what a chair needs to be. I know that a table has to have a flat spot. For it to be furniture, it's got to have certain aspects of furniture. In a chair, it's critical, and I try to respect that in the seat. But what you do on the edges, you can do anything. Wood is so nice to work with because it's tactile, it has a nice feel. I think it's the best of all materials to work in. In my work, I'm dealing with soft forms, I'm dealing with volume, and I have admired unusual cars, sports cars, ever since I was a child. I've been interested in what Kiss could be referred to as trying to defy gravity or fool it. Well, this is a very early piece, 1965. And this is the very earliest example where I've been trying to defy gravity. I also was at what first piece that I combined functions where a table and a chair were really one thing. If you look at my work from the rear, uh, often you wouldn't recognize it as a chair. And I like that idea, that ambiguity of not knowing what you're looking at.